Hey, thanks for watching. I'm always fascinated to hear about people's day-to-day -day routines. And in this video, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my day-to-day -day routine and what that looks like right now, because things are changing so quickly. It's actually, it's fun for me to think about what I actually do on a day-to-day -day during the week and on the weekends, because it's just interesting to keep track of. I find it fascinating. There's the quote, uh, the secret of success is hidden in your daily routine. Forget who said that, I'll look it up. But so this is what I do on the daily. So I wish I could say I was a morning person. I am not a morning person, but thankfully my husband is. So my daughter wakes up at usually 5.45 or 6 every morning, uh, like clockwork, and she's two. So that is what she does. And he very kindly wakes up with her. She's hungry. She wakes up hungry. She does a sign for hungry and she'll say, up, down, down, dad. And she is at that stage two where she only wants him. Like she only wants him to do things. If we're in a room together, she only wants him. So he's very kind to get up with her every morning when she wakes up and lets me sleep until 7.30. Like he's really sweet. I'll like close the door, turn off the light so I can keep sleeping. So he very kindly takes the morning shift and we'll get her breakfast and hang out with her in the morning. And he'll usually hop on and do some work in the morning too. So I will sleep until 7.30 and then get up and get ready and get myself ready and then get her ready. So everyone's ready by 8, 8.30. Again, I wish I could say I was a morning person. It would be great if I was, but at this point in my life, I just <laughs> don't have the energy or the bandwidth to do that. I'm much more of a night owl which is uh, just how it is. I just feel like I'm not as productive at night. Things get done and I, it's easier for me to do things at night after she's in bed, but I find that I'm much more fresh in the morning. So it's, it's a continual struggle to become more of a morning person. So we're all ready by 8.30. And usually, so three days a week, we will stay in the city and she goes to childcare with a co-working space. So it's a co-working space with a childcare attached. It's two blocks from our house. It is wonderful and just just a brilliant brilliant concept and we'll do that so she goes to her program from 9 to 12 and then i'll work in the co-working space and get my stuff done which is actually really i love it because it's really um so beneficial for me because i like being around other working adults it's something that i miss since uh, we went entirely um remote. I don't miss going to an office at all, but I do miss being around other adults and just not like myself locked in a, in a room. So that's really super helpful. And I find that I'm able to focus and get my work done. And it's a beautiful thing. So I do that three days a week until noon, then we'll head back home, have some lunch. She naps from 1 o'clock till three o'clock, usually pretty, pretty consistently, which is lovely. And then, um, and I, I will also work from one to three. And then she wakes up and she'll usually want to go to the park or go outside. She's very, like, she wakes up and she puts on her shoes and then she'll bring me my shoes and bring me her stroller and be like, all right, time to go. So we go either go back outside or do some indoor uh, reading or playing or some type of activity with her. Then I try by at least four, four thirty. By four o'clock, I have an idea, at least four o'clock, an idea of what we're doing for dinner. And then I'll start prepping um, because I try to have dinner done by five. If we don't eat until six, then that's when we eat. But I try to have everything done and ready to go by five. So I'll make dinner and then we'll play some more <laughs> from probably 5.30 till 6.30 because 6.30 is bath time. And then we'll do bath time and start the wind down routine, the evening routine. Um, that goes from about 10.30, or excuse me, 10.30, <laughs> that's 6.30 till 8. So we do bath, um, pajamas, then we, so I will read to her in the bath. We started doing, um, cause I want her to hear more words. There's this whole 30 million words project. Just the idea you want to get kids to hear as many words and as many useful words as possible. So I'm trying to read to her more. So I try to read um, a couple pages of a chapter book. We're doing The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. So I try to read a couple pages when she's in the bath because she's also at that phase where it's tough to get her to sit still to read a book. And she'll, again, if my husband and I are in the same room, she will only want dad and she'll only want dad to read. But reading aloud is really more my thing. So he will certainly read, but it's easier for me to do. So if we're together, she'll want him and he's, it's not something he loves to do. 
So we're, when we're in the bath, she's kind of a captive audience. So that's the be best time to read. So we will read a book um, and then she gets out. We do pajamas um, and then we do devotions, uh, which is something that I did as a kid growing up. And we use actually the same book. It's really sweet. Um, so we do devotions and then we say prayers um, and then it's lights out at... 7 30 and she's usually asleep by eight but the challenge is that we are in a one bedroom apartment so we all sleep in the same bedroom she has her bed off to the side which is great and she loves sleeping in her bed but she's a wanderer so she'll be up and around and i try to like stay in the room until she falls asleep um and it's also a challenge because the bad access to the bathroom and to the lot into laundry is from the bedroom as well so it's just a, a challenge. So we stay in the room till she's asleep. And again, she only wants dad. So dad has to be in the room when she's sleeping. He can't be out in the living room doing work because she will want him to be with her. So it's a challenge. And for all of these things, of course, you can say, I could say she's a child. She does what, what we want her to do. And we could force her to do these things. And we, you know, she would be upset and we would just deal with it. I'm finding the challenge is deciding what I want you got to pick your I have to pick my battles and I have very few <laughs> like I have very few I just I want her to be polite respectful and confident and these are the my husband and I agree on these three values even before we had kids so when it comes to bedtime those three values come into play because I'm like this bedtime reflects on none of these yes she needs sleep yes she will usually fall asleep by 8 8 30 at the latest if we've had a normal day with normal nap times etc so I just kind of let it go and I'm happy to sit and to lay with her in bed until she falls asleep so that's she's usually asleep by 8 8 30 then I will come back out to the living room and do some more work usually about until about 10 or 10 30 sometimes 11 if it gets late then my 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 task my roles are to shut down the kitchen kind of put everything away and clean up just kind of spray down the countertops and then i'm heading to bed usually we both we have i what i feel to be a very equitable division of labor we just do what needs to be done when it needs to be done so um growing up i felt like chores in my house were weaponized it was like a punishment you got extra chores or if your chores weren't done and it would be arbitrary it wasn't very like regimented or predictable um, or consistent in regard to chores. It was just, oh, you didn't do this. I didn't tell you to do this, but you didn't do it. So I'm not going to do this. So it was a little bit uncertain. So I just, I knew when I was in a household, I just wanted to create a house where we all just pitch in. If someone asks you to do something, you do it. So that's kind of how my husband and I work. We just do what needs to be done. We'll each run a load of laundry. We'll fold clothes. That's we try to really, because we have such a small space, we try to fold clothes immediately out of, after they come out of the dryer um, or at least within that day. We try to go to bed with all of our laundry at least folded. So that's what I will do. Um, I kind of wind down listening to podcasts or whatnot. Like it's, a, it's not something I mind at all just to kind of relax and be doing chores and listening to podcasts. Then I try to be in bed, teeth brushed, face washed, <laughs> skincare done by 10, 11.30 at the latest, and then lights off by 11.45 for me. So that is my daily routine, um, usually. <laughs> say usually, that's my usual daily routine. And on the weekends, usually same time to get ready and go to bed, um, to get up in the morning and then to go to bed, but in the middle Kind of open to interpretation we i used to go to the gym <laughs> once upon a time i used to go to the gym now no longer um but sometimes we'll do things as a family sometimes i'll have events sometimes my husband will have events but we we try to like switch off on that so that is my daily routine as a mom <laughs> in the city <laughs> it's in manhattan it's overwhelming and the thing is i'm sure it will change it, it will change um soon who knows how soon or when but things will change. Um, but that's, that's where it is for right now. So that's what I got for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.